it's crazy to say, but there's brands out there that are doing $100,000 a month, a million dollars a month and beyond where they don't even have proper conversion tracking. And they're just blindly looking at the numbers on their Google Ads dashboard and blindly trusting them, which is not what you should be doing. But these foundational things, they guide the campaigns. They guide the algorithm. If you don't have proper tracking, if you don't have proper accuracy or your ad account structure is weak, that's telling the campaigns and the algorithm what quality of day, uh, what quality of traffic you actually want and who you want to show your ads to. And if it's not high quality, well, then you can't expect high quality results. So yeah. that's where my focus always begins, the foundation, figuring out the leaks, et cetera. From there, then I move on to the campaign strategies because campaign strategy is actually the second important part. It's not the first. A lot of brand owners believe campaign is where everything happens. Like when you click a bunch of buttons, that's where the magic happens. That's where you make the most money. And that's not true. It's where the foundation is where you make the most money. But then after that, the campaign strategy, what you have launched, do you have a bunch of shopping campaigns or is it a bunch of just random products thrown together? That's what I'm looking at to understand if there's actually a structure in place similar to the TPS approach or not. And then from there, once we figure out those things, then it's a custom approach for scaling. That's where the customized approach comes in. There's no one size fits all approach there. Okay. Can you give me an example of a brand that you worked with, like a case study? You don't need to name the brand um, that came to you and what kind of results they saw. So we recently started working with a brand in the furniture niche. It's based in the UK. It's actually called Opa Living. But this specific mm -hmm. brand was a brand which was barely doing around 40 to 50,000 pounds a month just within the UK market. They didn't want to expand, just wanted to stay within the UK. But 40 to 50,000 per month in March of this year. Now, the majority of their traffic was coming from Google Ads because furniture for their niche and just their practices, they weren't really focused on Facebook at all. They were focused on Google Ads and organic traffic. 